What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. We are here in the new race car trailer, and uh, I am going to... Uh, I haven't made a full video on this one yet, but uh, now you guys are in it. You guys can see it. We do have the vet here behind me, and we want to talk to you about... Uh, this thing made a pretty killer pass on the 20s. What 20s? Them 20s right there. That is a Hoosier... 285 30R20. It is still the same old Snow White that everybody wants to know, that everybody has been knowing for this car pretty much forever. Uh, we're going to talk about the past, and we're just going to get straight to the meat and potatoes of this Joker. I got this car. Still, still has the factory wave spring in it. This car does not have coilovers. This car still has magnetic ride. This car does not have a full roll cage and it is not chopped up. This car did that on these ones. So we don't believe the 20 inch wheel. Look at it. See that? See right there. 285, 30, 20. It did it on those. We 119, 60 footed. Okay. All right. 119, 60 footed. Now I ain't going to tell you the rest of the car because I do race this car a lot with no time. And uh, not so much the no prep and stuff like that, but a lot of the no time and the pro tree stuff uh, with this car. But to do that on 20s, okay, just keep in mind, to do that on a 20-inch rim, a 1160 foot, that's pretty impress impressive, okay? I know a couple other big hitter guys out there. I think it's uh, AMP in Houston. They're on a 15-inch. They did one twos. Uh, but you know, you have even one threes uh, on on low profile tires. A lot of a lot of guys can do one threes, one fours, and still pick up the front tires uh, with the sway bars and stuff like that. This car did it with the front sway bar still kind of on twenty inch rims. No bead locks, no nothing. This is just my factory chrome twenty inch rims. You guys see it right there. Ain't no bullshit in here. So uh, I'll roll the clip for you guys so you guys can see that. But y'all know I'm not kidding. And I've made quite a bit of adjustments. The people that know that follow this car, they've seen it do the top speed runs. They've seen it go 220 plus. You know, they see it drag ship. This car is still 100% set up for pro touring. But I primarily uh, drag race it. And it is, it's it, it, it's it's pretty damn cool. Uh, we have pretty much, you know, already know the fuel that we run. It's, it's 93 octane. And, and methanol. Uh, I don't disclose how much power it makes. Uh, so when anyone asks how much power does it make, it makes 460. That's what it made from the factory. That's a factory looking car right there. So, uh, but uh, it's it, it's pretty damn good. And uh, and now and now we we we're, we're moving up with it. We have now tried to uh, you know put it on some race gas, and we've had some pretty good luck with it just to see what we can get out of it. But uh, overall, this is pretty good. So next, we're going to see how far we can keep going with it and see how long this uh, diff will stay in. And a couple of my guys over at uh, a, a couple of hot rod shops down in Texas, they have told me that they've gotten uh, pretty good luck with uh, getting about 100 passes or so out of their diff before they shatter it. And they got a ZR1 diff. And uh, that's what we put in here. So we'll see how long this one lasts. And uh, we'll go from there. But I wanted to give you guys an update on this car. This car is getting ready to go. It's going to be at Cadillac Attack as well in January. So we will be racing it with them. 
uh, and we'll be doing a couple other test sessions and uh, some renting out the racetrack and uh, having some fun with it. But thanks for tuning in, guys, for another episode here on the Speedbook channel. Uh, you guys can uh, see the new trailer. We do have the new set. Why not just throw it all in this video? I got the new trailer and everything like that. We got the AC to play and stuff like that. So everything's working out great. We're trying to up our race program here just a little bit more. So, uh, But thank you guys for tuning in for another episode here. And we will see you all at the racetrack or on the motorcycle sooner than later.